Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, I actually, again, was not planning on doing a video today, but I, um, by accident, came across something that I figured would actually be a very good video to shoot, and I wanted to go ahead and do a real quick one. So, at times when you're doing, when you're putting on your paint and your models, you may make mistakes with the paint, it didn't come out right, it's not in the right spot, um, and you don't know what to do, that way the water, or that way that the paint doesn't clump up and it starts taking away the details. So, what I'm going to show you is a fairly easy way to get the paint off, especially with acrylics. So what I have here is I've got a little thing of Dawn dish soap and water, a old toothbrush, and a simple rag. So well, while I was doing the Stuka, um, I realized that I put yellow tips on the top when it's actually not supposed to be like that. It's only supposed to be on the bottom. So, and I've used this before. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and gently mix around the soap with the water. And what we're going to do is you're going to start carefully start brushing that to get the acrylic off. Now it's going to take a little bit to, to be able to do this. That's okay. You just want to make sure that you're getting these layers off. So this is simply all that we're going to do. And as you can see right there, it's already started coming off. You know, you don't want to put too much pressure on, but you want to you want to basically let the brush do all the work. Now, you can also as it goes along, you can actually take your finger and simply wipe it off. Now, keep in mind, this is specifically for acrylic paints. The, this is for paints that are water-based. Um, you don't need to use any sort of paint stripper or uh, brush cleaner, anything like that. Because that is, because it, it's, it's like I said, it's a water-based. If you're doing enamel, then yes, by all means, you can definitely do this with a, um, with a paint thinner or anything like that. Okay, so that one is done. We're going to go ahead and also we're going to dry this off very well. This, now, that this is very important. You need to make sure that this is completely dry because what will happen is the paint will start to curl and look very uneven. It's going to look wrinkled and cracked. So you need to be very, very careful when you're doing this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and tackle this other one as well. And again, all I'm doing is soap and water. And this is the Vallejo paint that I that I use. Um, so it is water-based. And I've run into this situation before. So with the with the large tiger tank that I that I pre that I showed in the previous video. Um <laughs> It was a nightmare at times because there was about four or five layers of paint that was on that particular vehicle. And I had made mistakes on it throughout large, large areas. And so I didn't know exactly what paint had been used. So I had to use a combination of soap and water and a brush as well as a little bit of paint thinner. And it was an absolute nightmare to do. So, with this technique, I'm, I'm trying to save you as much heartache as possible. And these are just the techniques that I've used over time. And so, as you can see, this one is already starting to peel. It's already starting to come off. So, we're just going to rub this off again. 
and it's already coming clean really quick. Okay. Now there's going to be a little bit under the paint or under the um, under the tape. That's fine. This is just showing you exactly how I do it to make life a little bit easier for you. And with that, you can start over and not have to worry about scrapping your model. So with this information, uh, definitely use it. Definitely, um, I will. I will definitely emphasize: make sure that you're paying you're paying attention to detail with everything in your models. But it it's inevitable sometimes that somebody may make that you may make a mistake and you need to clean it off. So use this. Hopefully it helps you. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and happy modeling.